Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about exterior angles of a triangle. Here we are at our practice worksheet that you can get on our website, and we're going to do a couple practice problems from it. We're looking at our first problem here, which gives us our triangle, and it also gives us our exterior angle here. So you can see that we have our triangle. And then we have a line that's extended from one side of the triangle and then we're trying to find the angle in between that line and the side of the triangle. Now in the case of this problem, you have to know that all lines or all straight lines add up to 180 degrees. So this right here, the entire angle from one side of the line to the other is 180 degrees. So when they give us a side of the triangle and they tell us that the angle of this side from here to here is 113 degrees, that only leaves so many degrees for this angle here. So in order to find that out, or in order to figure out the degree measure for this angle, all you have to do is you have to take whatever they give you, in the case of this problem, it's 113. So we know this much of the 180 is already taken. So in order to figure out what's left over, you just do 180 minus 113. So we know the entire thing from here to here has to be 180 degrees. So from here to here is 113, you just subtract that from 180. In the case of this problem, you will be left with 67 degrees. So we know that x has to be equal to 67 degrees. Because 113 plus 67 is 180, or it's one full line, which is 180 degrees. Number four gives us another triangle and a line that extends from that triangle, and then it tells us to find the exterior angle that is created by that extension. So here is our angle that we are looking for. Now in the case of this one, we don't have an angle here. In the other problem, we could have just taken this angle, subtracted it from 180, and it would have given us the angle that we need to figure out. But in the case of this problem, we do not have that. So the easiest way to do this is to take the two opposite or non-adjacent angles from the exterior angle and you add them together. In the case of this triangle, we have a right angle here, which is of course 90 degrees, and we also have 33 degrees. So we're going to take 90 degrees and we're going to add it to 33 degrees to get 123 degrees. So we know that this angle and this angle add up to 120 degrees. And we know that all the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So we could have done 180 minus 123, which gets us 57 degrees. So we now know that this question mark angle is 57 degrees. So if you remember back to the original problem, this entire thing is a straight line. So it all has to add up to 180 degrees. So if this amount is 57, you can do 180 minus 57 to get the remaining amount. And in this case, 180 minus 57 is 123 degrees. So we know that x is 123 degrees. Now, you may notice that this amount and this amount are the same. They're equal to each other. They're exactly the same. And a shortcut for solving the exterior angle of a triangle when they give you the two non-adjacent angles is to just add them together. So we could have skipped these entire steps down here had we just known the rule was to add them together and that's gonna be your exterior angle measure. So if you ever get a problem like this again and you have non-adjacent angles to the exterior angle. You just add them up and whatever they add up to is the angle measure of the exterior angle. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. 
Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.